case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Whitcomb v. Chavis, a 1971 Supreme Court case, six Indiana residents, five of whom were from Marion County, challenged the constitutionality of the state's districting and apportionment statutes for General Assembly elections. The plaintiffs argued that the multi-member district in Marion County violated the Equal Protection Clause by diluting the voting power of minority interest groups, specifically African Americans and poor people living in the ghetto area of the county. The Supreme Court found that the at-large election system in Marion County's General Assembly indeed violated the Constitution's Equal Protection Clause. It determined that the voting strength of African American residents in the Center Township ghetto was being diluted and ordered statewide redistricting due to significant malapportionment in both Senate and House districts. The court held that Marion County's multi-member district violated the Equal Protection Clause, necessitating statewide redistricting. It also noted that using decennial reapportionment is a rational way to avoid frequent changes due to population shifts. Furthermore, the court allowed a local government apportionment scheme with a 12% variation and criticized a district court for misconceiving the Equal Protection Clause in a separate case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.